This is Andrew with Lee Marketing Pro, and I am here with none other than Mr. Kurt Molly. Now, fun fact, Kurt, fun fact. I, I told you this, and this remains true. This was like a, at least a year, maybe two ago. It's, it's been a while. series on Facebook marketing that you did for What's Working Now, to this day, all time most popular, most views. Folks love that training. It's important. They talk about it. Actually, you mentioned someone came up to you on the street. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. And, and complimented. Yeah, the they said that the Facebook training that they have and they learned inside of What's Working Now is a part of their Bible yeah. that they use now. I so, like that, the Bible. Mm -hmm. Very, very good stuff. This man, fountain geyser of information when fountain it comes. Of information. Yeah, I mean, just literally. And when he gets on stage. It gushes. It's intense. It's intense. There's, there's some uh, uh, perspiration and, and a very, 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 very fast passionate. pace that, yeah, to, to get through all the information. So with all that said, all that preamble, thank you so much for taking a minute to chat with us. What I want to talk about, obviously, Facebook advertising, it's a technical subject. Mm -hmm. And that's not conducive to our kind of conversation, but one thing I think would be valuable for folks is we can talk about the psychology, focusing on, instead of you know, the why questions, focusing on the number questions. I think that could be a big shift for folks. So if you wanna kind of share a few thoughts on that from your presentation, that'd be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a couple of things is uh, people typically spoke, speak in emotion and they typically get frustrated when they can't understand the reason why something's not working or what it is. So a lot of people will tell me that I'll work with is, Kurt, I don't understand why my funnel doesn't work or why my ads don't work. It's an emotional question. They're not saying, hey, my ad copy doesn't work or my images don't work. So what we look for is we look for, like I talked about here, is a 12-step process. How can we logically look at information and it's just simple numbers. What I like to say is we talked about this last night, simple math and facts. That's it. So when people come up and they're like, oh, my stuff's not working. Specifically, by the way, if you want a small little uh, keyword, use the word specifically. So people will walk up to you and say, I don't understand why this isn't working. Specifically, what's not working? My ads. Specifically, what about your ads? Well, the cost per click is too high. Now we can have a conversation because we're talking about numbers. So this is, we were talking about this at lunch just a minute ago, is every single morning I get up is I listen to five mantras before I start my day, before 11 a.m. And one of them overcomes fear. Because the thing is, is what I love about paid ads, one plus one equals two. What's two plus two? Can you tell me that answer? Four. Was it scary? Oh, a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> just a, just a, but it's math, that's not scary. What's scary is the stories we tie around in our own head and the stories that we make up around, well, I'm not getting any leads. I don't know what's wrong, but I'm not getting any leads, which means I'm not gonna make any money, which means I just spent money on Facebook, which means my significant other's gonna leave me and I can't buy groceries because I only have a $500 budget because we were just talking about how much it costs to get a click to your website. And people tie around these emotions and these stories and they never get started. They get so prepared to get started to get started, they never get started because they're overwhelmed because of these stories they start to tell. So what I tell people, like I said on stage is, let's start running a like campaign. Do we know how much it costs on average to get someone to like our page? Do we know on average what it takes, how much it costs to get an opt-in? If you only spend $5 and you only try for two days, you never get accurate numbers. So one way that I look at Facebook marketing, it isn't how much, what's my budget for the month? My budget is $500. When I hear that, I hear I'm gonna lose $500 this month. When instead, reframe it and say, okay, I'm gonna invest $500. What am I gonna get from that investment? Well, if I qualify my avatar, I'm gonna get qualified clicks. Okay, at least it's quantifiable. So I spent $500 and got 500 clicks. Great, now what happened? Well, from that 500 clicks, I got 10 opt-ins. It's a bad opt-in rate but you got 10. Yes, you spent $500, but what you invested in is 500 qualified clicks, 10 leads, and the ability to have qualified clicks that you can follow up with with retargeting. So if we stop telling, or you, stop telling yourself these stories of people won't like when I don't, but what about, we talked about this at lunch, and this is great. Your marketing sells your product, and your product keeps people from refunding. I learned that from Mark Overson like five and a half years ago. So if we can focus on the numbers and what it takes to get someone to your website or into your funnel, you don't have to have the perfect product. 
You just have to have good logical numbers that we remove that emotion and look at each step to get people in our funnel. And one of the huge pieces of that is when you're, when you're getting coaching, right? Coaching is, is a massively important part of success for anyone at any level of their business. But when you're getting coaching, you really want to approach that coach with data. So instead of That's, yeah, stories, huge. instead of assumptions that you're making about what it might mean, why something's happening, if you can bring data to the forefront of the conversation, then it can be productive and effective and you can start talking about it, we always, we always say test and validate, right? Nothing matters unless you test and validate. The best thing that you can do to walk up to a mentor, let's just say Tim or away, right? He's brilliant at copywriting, he's done funnels. But if you can walk out, let's just say you're in an event with, with uh, let's just say Tim and Fernie. And if you walk up to both those guys, you're like, hey, look guys, I got a thousand likes to my page. It's typically at 50 cents. But then I send people to my lander and it's typically like a dollar a click. And I get about a 25% opt-in, so it's about $4 an opt-in. What do you think you could do to kind of help out with my opt-in? Instantly, they'll give you a couple of different uh, ideas for copy. Now all of a sudden your cost per opt-in might not be $4, it's two. But most people come up to Tim or they come up to Fernie and they're like, hey, could you help me with my Facebook ads? It's a whole different conversation. Like you were working with one of the world's brilliant copywriters. If you can tell by numbers where you're getting stuck, they instantly know, like, I mean, you do a lot of copy. Like you don't necessarily do conversions and stuff like that, but you know the numbers. If I told you that I was getting an 8% opt-in on my landing page, you instantly know that, wait, there are some things that we can change with copy. Absolutely. Instantly. But most people don't realize that. But if they were able to speak in numbers, that's why I had the 12-step system. If they can say, hey, I'm stuck on step number, or system number six, and or step number six, I know my cost per click is this, my average cost per lead is this, but they're just not buying, they can have amazing conversations with people like yourself, TG, or, or Fernie, or Vince, and you can help a lot more. People who don't know their numbers don't really know how to communicate about their funnel and they never really get started. Yeah, I love that. So one thing that I, I think would be really inspirational for folks is, you know, someone who's brand new, they might look at Facebook advertising, they might look at, you know, your tell step process, and they might like, wow, that's, that's a lot, I'm, I'm intimidated. Uh, I think it would be cool to kind of let folks in on, on your story and kind of, you know, the fact that you haven't been doing this like forever. Matter of fact, you got started a couple years ago and some amazing things have happened yeah, six years along ago. the way. And I think folks would love to hear that story. I started out, what I like to say, underfunded, not broke, right? There's a really big difference, but I had a determination. I went to a lot of events like this and I started following the sequence of what people said to do. So I remember that nothing exists unless I can test and verify it. So a speaker would be on stage and I'd be like, I don't know if they're right or wrong until I test it out and try it on my own. I also know that nobody ever, very rarely do people do things consistently. So if I was just consistent and implemented what the speaker said, that'd be it. It's like one of the things that we talked about just a minute ago. There's so many new people here at the event, which is great, but people who stick it out three, four, five years, most people stick it out for four or five years for a degree to get a job for 40 years. People get frustrated when they're like, it's been five years and I haven't made much money yet. You were gonna be in a job for the next 40 and only pay this every two weeks. But we don't punch a clock because now we have the ability and what we wanna choose for tomorrow. So I got started, just to make it really easy, in the NFL club, not the National Football League. No funds left, I didn't have any friends left, and I had no, I had no funds, I had no friends, and I had no, um, uh, there's, there's three Fs here, this is really important. Can we do this thing called edit? This is what we call B-roll. Can we yeah, do B-roll? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's yeah, it's no it's no friends, no fun, and no funds left whatsoever to do anything. I, I always hear it as is NFL no friends left. That's that's yes, no usually. friends, no funds, and no fun I was having whatsoever. Fun, got it. Yeah, no fun. Got it. So the thing is what ended up happening was I had no other opportunity but I had to run an affiliate program as actually with Mike Dillard. So we offered one of his products and I believed in his copy so much, just like I do with Tim and Fernie and Vince and those guys are doing is I believe in their copy so much I started promoting it. And I started to learn my numbers and I started to make money. And what happened is, is I didn't make $10,000 overnight, but I started to put in a dollar, I made a dollar roll one. I learned from what I did right or wrong. I put in a dollar, I made a dollar roll two. And I'll never forget the day that I called my mom in Nebraska and I'm like, mom, in the last seven months I've spent $265,000 in Facebook ads. My own money, it's cash. She's like, oh my goodness, where did you get that money? You start out with 100 and you, and, you, and you make 75 back, so you gotta put another 25. And then all of a sudden that 100 turns into 105, that 105 turns into 110. All of a sudden you've spent $10,000. You didn't write a check for 10,000, you just knew that you could spend 100 and get out 150. So long story short is, and then last, I've been doing this five, almost six years now, 
is when I started, I didn't have any experience, I didn't have any funds, but I went to events like this and started just following basic instruction. I started working with small businesses, and because I started applying it, then my business really became referral only. And then after that, now what I love is, we were just talking about this on stage and at lunches, is, is now we get the ability to choose where we live, where we spend our time, where we go. But it's only a five or six year process. So if you're frustrated after the first year, so? If you're frustrated after the third year, I remember being frustrated coming out of school and frustrated I had to do this for the next 40 years. So if you don't make money the first two or three years, it's okay because five years in this industry is a really long time and especially supporting like what you're doing here and with the group here, you can shortcut that a lot faster. But five years is really not that long when you think about it. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, I, I think, um, you know, in order for folks to, uh, to get more value from you and, you know, Kurt gave an amazing presentation from stage, an entire 12-step process of exactly how he structures Facebook uh, advertising campaigns. And you got to come to events. You know, you need to be here. You need to be Very at uh, No Excuses 8 next year to uh, check that out. Similarly, if you're a member of Elite Marketing Pro, you can check out a bunch of training from Kurt, which is in our archive, archives. And we definitely need to have you back. Another interview. Again. That'd be fun. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate you. Thank you.